to set up this pyramid for welding, I just used this blue tape and two super magnets are covered with metal shavings. See how this baby fits. Aha. Got some notching to do. I had to notch it out because I, I put more cement here than I had on the bottom. I know it's opposite, it's kind of hard to explain, but either way I have to notch it because of this. Should fit now. I had to notch these corners out. Something I didn't anticipate. So I notched them a little bit too much, but it ain't gonna matter because the fans are on the bottom, so this should be just fine. So now I'm gonna build the forms. This will get all encased in concrete. I gotta get that plate out of there and clean that all up. It won't be too much longer, guys. <laughs> just have patience. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do this mortar. Did this plate this morning. I've been working all weekend, so I couldn't get nothing done all weekend. But I got, uh, received some really cool stuff. So let's see what we have here. Hmm. Snazzy. Probably don't have any batteries in it. it. Came with these four sensors, but I'm not going to use these. I'll use them, but not on this. So here's my new monitor. It's got four set. Uh, uh, by coincidence, they sell them with four outlets. Huh. It's just exactly what I needed. The same company. I already had one of these, so now I got three more sensors. What else do we have in here, by goodness? Here's the old one I had already. You can see what the heat does. <laughs> and then I got these connectors. They're $10 for three. <laughs> Crazy little guys. But I only needed eight, so it's 30 bucks for those nine little connectors. Is that goofy or what? I'm, I'm sure I probably could have got them cheaper. And this is the main one. What? Yeah, this is like a hundred bucks here. 21 feet of number eight gauge high temperature wire. Well, that ought to do the trick. I think it's rated at 450 Celsius. So I got 21 feet. So that's five feet for each, uh, two and a half feet for, per connection, roughly with one with one foot extra. <laughs> so a rough sequence of what's coming next is, I'll cover this in mortar tomorrow, get the forms built. I'll try to get it all done tomorrow. Then the next thing will be Another five and a half inch slab here, right up, flushes out to the top of this in a sand drain tube, all the way around. At that point, I'll start framing in an access plate. It'll be up here, five, just big enough to get in and get the coil out.